Hello, I'm Richard Lee. I'm director of Sound Vitality and the developer of the Infratonic S. And we got a question in of how can I best use the Infratonic S to dissolve limiting beliefs? Okay, uh, and, and I'm here today on this YouTube video or however it appears to you to uh, tell you how to apply the Infratonic S best. Here's the Infratonic S and we're going to be applying it today. Okay, so first off, we have the challenge of, if you're gonna use it, uh, you need to find a way to be able to tell whether it works because we talk a lot about limiting beliefs but what are limiting beliefs? It's like uh, uh, you understand what a Coca-Cola is and you understand what a, a book or a car is. You can hold them, you can touch them, you can move them around, but what is a limiting belief? And how can we put our finger on it? Because limiting beliefs act behind the scenes. It's not like we have a, um, a, uh, a limiting belief that we can find and see. And as we pull it out, it comes out as this black little monster with uh, um, a face on it that we can remove and throw away. No, uh, limiting beliefs are these things that live behind us, live inside of us and then shape the way we respond to our lives such that we create uh, experiences, experiences that fit the expectations of the limiting belief. So if we go and erase limiting beliefs, will we notice anything? Our life might change a great deal, but we could think, well, uh, it's just that I am not having negative experiences right now. It's that I am not running into people who are argumentative, or I am not. Um, I'm not even trying to find a parking place now, or whatever it is that we feel we're limited about. Uh, usually, these limitations happen in cycles or sporadically, so it's really hard to say what is causing it. So. I put together a questionnaire, which you'll find available at soundvitality.com slash limiting beliefs. Just type that into your computer and the little article will pop up with the questionnaire in it, which is about uh, eight questions. You circle from one to 10 and add up the score. And that's your limiting belief score. Then you can apply the scaling light and uh, wait a week or so, see whether your life seems to change, see whether your life gets easier, those things that were um, effort to do uh, aren't so much effort anymore and those things that always seem to be trouble aren't materializing in your life. But you can also now fill out the questionnaire again and see whether your, um, limiting belief score changes. So I hope this tool is useful to you because one of the big problems we've had is, did it really get rid of limiting beliefs? Kind of like this uh, chiropractor I remember who said, my patient had been coming to me and I'd been treating her and she said at one visit, my leg still hurts. You're making no progress with my leg. And the chiropractor looks, his, looks at his file and says, well, we've been working on your shoulder for the last three weeks. Uh, we haven't been working on your leg. If you like, we'll start putting effort on your leg. So th the, we tend to forget what happened in the past and we tend to, uh, want it all now, and when, when a problem disappears, we forget that we had that problem and just move on to the next problem we want to have disappear. So 
if half of your limiting beliefs disappear and your life is no longer held back in a wide variety of ways, you're going to find another way that your life is held back. So that's our challenge. Anyway, so um, the other thing that you need to do for limiting beliefs is intend that your limiting beliefs go away. If you secretly want your limiting beliefs to stay around, no matter what you do, they will either stay or come back after the therapeutic method is stopped. So you really need to intend and you can write it down or you can say it out loud. And it's very valuable to pray, to essentially uh, acknowledge that there is some sort of a universal force, great being, some kind of a higher self that is orchestrating our lives and is putting situations in front of us that we are calling for with our limiting beliefs. So uh, I pray to the universe that I release all these limiting beliefs and am no longer restricted by them is such a prayer. And that in itself, if we intend it and say it out loud with the intention that it happen, then the universe or however we define it can act and give us a whole new way of living. Okay, so that's an important factor. But then one of our challenges is the limiting beliefs are embedded in the etheric template. The, this is an energy field that surrounds the body that uh, if, you, if you cut yourself, it's the field that knows where every cell is supposed to grow back and guides the cells to come back and knit together and become perfect again. So the, the etheric template is very important to holding our bodies together. It's also important for holding our beliefs and expectations together. And if we had o have old beliefs and expectations that are uh, have been with us for a very long time, are deeply embedded with, in us because of trauma, uh, childhood trauma or whatever, or that our parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents believed or did or held as limitations, those are likely to be woven into our etheric template. And we're not able to, our consciousness is not able to differentiate between what is us, what is the etheric template, and what are these old limiting beliefs from our ancestors. So this is the challenge. How do we disconnect the limiting beliefs from our etheric template so that we can pull them out or our higher guidance helpers, the universe, whatever it is, can pull them out for us. Okay, so uh, to break them loose from the etheric template, we're going to use the scalene light. And to demonstrate, we're going to use me. Okay, here is my essentially uh, my ribs. Uh, ribs down here, they come up like this. Uh, this is the bottom of the ribs. So top, this is the top level of the bottom of the ribs where they come together. And then down below is the bottom of the ribs. And right this strip between the bottom and the top of our ribs is the area of the diaphragm. And this is the area in which we say no. Energy comes from first chakra upward up through this third chakra to the throat to express creativity in the world. So it's very important that we dissolve our tendency to have these unconscious no reactions that's, that restrict our ability to create in this world. So uh, this is the um, Infratonic S, we're going to turn it on and we're going to set it for um, melt. This one looks like it's a little, oh, 
the battery light blinked once. So it may be a little bit low on power, but we can proceed. So I, I have it on Melt, and Melt is the excellent um, setting to use to dissolve these limiting beliefs across the third chakra, across the diaphragm. So hold it for about a minute in each spot. Just move it around. Uh, I'm, I'm going faster than a minute per spot, obviously. And if you find a spot that feels a little uncomfortable, you might keep it there a little longer or move it around that area. If you feel another area, if you're working on one area and you feel another area, move it over to that area. So follow it around a little bit and spend a minute or two on each spot. 10 minutes, maybe more. Uh, and this is the process that softens up the limiting beliefs. And now that we've softened them up, how do we, or, or while we are softening them up, how do we help them to leave the body? Okay, uh, we need a pathway out of the body. The bottoms of the feet are a good pathway. We can breathe energy out the bottom of the feet, uh, grounding, connecting to the earth, all of that sort of thing. Um, uh, one practical way that I've used, and I recommend that you try, is to put your mouth together in the, as if you're blowing a, on a straw and essentially create a stream of air that comes out and essentially blow anything out of you and visualize the the any discomfort or pain or stuff that's loosened up down in the third chakra in the diaphragm area to come up and out with the breath and essentially leave your body that way and you invite your guides uh the universe angels whoever you visualized who can help you clear out energies to carry it away so for the 10 minutes while you're using the infratonic s it, whenever you find a spot that feels the least bit uncomfortable, you've found a limiting belief. You found something there that can be released. Breathe the energy out of that spot for a minute or half a minute or two minutes or whatever. Okay. Work on all the spots all the way across. Okay. So, um, there um and uh okay uh the suggestion is that you do this uh, uh every night before uh for one week before bed so you can get into bed and just lie there and for 10 minutes before you go to sleep uh apply the infratonic acid across your belly and do the breathing and the prayer and intention and then as you sleep, maybe the first and second time or so, you're liable to get somewhat disjointed dreams. This is very interesting because it's like, it's not just a normal dream that continues, but you, the dream drop, jumps from one topic to another. It's like your, um, uh, your energy body has sort of been broken into pieces a little bit. And so that's a very interesting thing to observe. Um, that, that'll that settle out and it hasn't, I haven't heard any problems with that. It's just a matter of things jumping around. Uh, and that's part of having it be easier for your limiting beliefs to reorganize in your body or those that are no longer necessary leaving your body as the etheric template loosens up in that area. Um, okay, so you might do this for a week and then take a break, stop, uh, observe how your life is going, observe how, uh, those things you, you might, you might, might like a list of those things. You don't have to make a list of your limiting beliefs. You can do that too, but those things in the world that seem to be resisting you. 
whether it's a boss at work who seems to be holding you back, relationship to a significant other, whatever it is, um, make a list before so that you can look at it afterwards and say, hmm, that does seem to be easier. Or all of my problems that used to be here are still here. Whatever, have something objective so that you can compare before and after, so you can remember what it was before you started. So at the end of the week, uh, spend the next week or so observing occasionally, how is your life going? And then a week later, two weeks later, you might do another cycle of a week. Breathe it out again. Okay, that covers a lot. Is there anything else that we want to? Ah, there was a, one of the recommendations is after you finish, if you still feel uncomfortable in the diaphragm area, use the infratonic S. Can we get that? Can you even see it? Oh yeah, look at that. Infratonic S. Uh, use the infratonic S and the best setting is the balance setting. See that it's on balance and apply it to whatever areas are, are uncomfortable. And you can apply it also to the upper chest, the over the thymus. Uh, and this is before bed, uh, just a few minutes. It's just gonna relax you. And if there's any anything left, any discomfort left after using the infratonic S, the infratonic nine is very good at mellowing it out. So that's that's what the infratonic nine can be used for in this application of limiting beliefs. And you wouldn't use it every time. You would use it when you have residual discomfort, which is why you use the infratonic nine anyway. Any kind of discomfort, pain, emotional turmoil, or any of that kind of stuff, the infratonic nine nicely irons out. The infratonic S tends to dig deeply and bring things up. The infratonic nine mellows them out, makes them more comfortable. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. That's, that's all the questions we got on this topic. So thank you very much for attending. And um, I hope you in, are enjoying your infratonic S and getting benefit out of it. And be sure to download the um, page at soundvitality.com slash um, limiting beliefs. And that will give you the little questionnaire that you can fill out before you start the testing and after you finish the testing to give you objective feedback. Thank you and good night.